everybody. It's Joe and Angie here. And to be quite honest, we've had it's been a really long day. <laughs> a really, really rough day today. <laughs> I've had a rough day because John is teething and so he's grumpy and I've had to change a lot of messy diapers today and he hasn't slept very well and Joe has had a crazy day because of work, right? And then we've had the emotions of children tonight and we're just going to keep it real and say it's been kind of a rough day today. But we're here and tonight we're going to do the In a Perfect World tag, which I thought was great for today because... <laughs> today was less than perfect. So... <laughs> Uh, we're just going to jump right in. I've had kind of some time, a little bit of time to think about um, my answers, but Joe has no idea what we're doing, so. No. This is all new. <laughs> so would you... You're going to get real answers from me that I that are not pre-thought. <laughs> so do you want to start, or should I... Sure, should I'll I start. Over? That's fine. Okay. So you fill in the blank at the end. In a perfect world, odd sleep. In my own bed. You don't sleep in your own bed? I sleep in that much of my bed. <laughs> Poor guy. I feel so bad for him. I'll wake up because John ends up sleeping with us most nights, even though we're trying really hard not to have him do that. Um, but I'll, I'll wake up and see that Joe, <laughs> I don't know how Joe fits on that much of the bed, but it's true. It's really that much it's, of the bed. It, it really is. It, it's quite the acrobatic thing. Okay, so my answer in a perfect world I'd sleep a whole lot more than I'm sleeping right now because I probably wake up right now about six times, six or seven times a night. So, but what's great is when the kids wake up and they say, oh, I've been awake all night long. And I just smile and say, I'm so sorry that you've had a bad night's sleep. Next, in a perfect world, I'd never, I never um, run out of cereal for a bedtime snack. That's a good one. I was gonna. I like to have a bowl of cereal before I go to bed. <laughs> it's a bad habit. I should stop, but I really like it. I would say, in a perfect world, I'd never lose my patience. I would just be patient all the time. That's a better answer. What? <laughs> Certainly less selfish than No, mine. it just means that I've lost my patience a lot today and I feel bad. And so I'm feeling guilty, so I'm trying to not feel guilty because in my perfect world, I wouldn't have to feel guilty for losing my patience. Okay. You, you can lose your patience and be guilt free? The bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. In a perfect world, odd wear. Loose jeans and a t-shirt and flip-flops. Instead, I get to wear this every day. But it's nice. You look handsome. Well, it was nice until I tried to feed John. <laughs> yeah, I've got some of that, too. In a, per okay, in a perfect world, I'd wear... Well, I'd wear something brand new every day, and I'd never have to wash it. I could just set it down, and the magic fairy would come and take it away and bring me something new every day. That fit perfectly, too. That, yeah, that fit perfectly. That I'd never have to clean. Okay, in a perfect world, my hair... Would cover my bald spot and not look like a comb over. <laughs> I don't see a comb over. <laughs> If, if, you, nice if you watch the little video that I did when I changed the lawnmower blade, it looked like a horrible, nasty comb over. It was... It was bad. Usually I'm not embarrassed of my bald spot. I was embarrassed. <laughs> I like your hair. What's left of it? My hair in a perfect world would just be done. Would just be done and I wouldn't have to do it because I have a whole I have a whole lot of hair and it takes a whole lot of time to do something and it would just stay perfect too. And my hair would not be in John's way and he wouldn't pull it. Okay. Here's the 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 money question of the night. Considering the day I just yes. saw. In a perfect world, my kids. 
Okay, I have to be careful because there's some t there's opposition in all things, right? And you can't know the good without the bad. They would fight and argue less. I don't want to say never because part of that's just being a kid and it's sort of how you learn. But I just wish they'd do it less. I, guess. I think my answer would. Oh. Oh. And the dog would stop licking his feet. It drives me nuts. Handley, stop. But he's not your kid. He stopped. Cut it out. Although he thinks he's your kid. Okay, in a perfect world, my kids... Handley. Would... Our kids, because we have the same children. Um, Hold on. Our kids, my kids, would believe in themselves. And they would find themselves happier because they would have a they would have a good self esteem. I guess is what I'm saying. They would they would have self esteem enough to know that no matter what they do, we love them, and they would know that they could come to us about anything at any time. Well, they do the last part. Oh, I hope that they do. I'm pretty sure they do. I hope that's that they one do. thing that they're really good at. But, well, they're good at a lot of stuff, but they are very good at that, too. And, and other than that, I mean, I know that there are times when it's crazy and trust me, today's been kind of crazy. I don't think that I would change them. I just would want them to believe in their, themselves and know that, that I love them unconditionally. So we'll just leave it at that. Okay, in a perfect world, my house would have new carpet. New carpet <laughs> with a nice thick pad, the kind of really nice high quality wool carpet. I like nice carpet, especially in bare feet. I don't mind vacuuming it. it just needs to be nice, thick. We have a pee free there. carpet. Pee free. Pee free would be wonderful. Yes, Rebecca? My house would not be this one. <laughs> At that. Not bad at all. But that doesn't mean that I would want. There, there's lots of the houses that I. But that I would prefer this house over lots of other houses. Like the last house. Yeah. Um, in a perfect world, my house would be my own. I would own it because we've had to rent for a long time. We, we owned. We've owned a couple homes, and we've. Um, and loved both of them. Loved them. But it's been a long time since we've had a home of our own years. What, like, gosh, almost all of Rebecca's life. Um, yeah, going on seven years. We, we had to, we sold our home that we lived in in Michigan at the wrong time in 2008 when everything crashed. And we had to, we didn't have a choice. And it took a year and a half for it to sell for less than half of what we, we bought, it for. bought it for. And so, you know, that's just kind of made it. It's made, a long story short, in a perfect world, we would own our own home, and it would be the perfect house because we will ha would have designed it, and yeah. Okay. Now that we've rambled on, in a perfect world, my car would be paid for, paid off, done, and it wouldn't break down. I was going to say, <laughs> really? And it wouldn't break down. If it were paid off, we could just switch it out for a better one. We've, had, we've had really bad luck with we've cars. We've had bad luck with cars. Really bad luck. So, yeah, what he said, plus um, it would always have gas in it, and I wouldn't have had to pay for it or put it in. It would just magically appear in a perfect world. In a perfect world, I'd live... Okay, I, I, could, I should probably be able to think of something more profound, but... Uh, just the other day, after this, oh, it was yesterday or Sunday? Um, after a big today, wait, what's today? Today's Tuesday. Yeah. After a big rainstorm, um, yeah, Sunday. After the Sunday rainstorm, we went for a walk and we walked up to the lake. And the, we I didn't have the camera with us. I wish we had taken some pictures to share. But the sky and the water were just gorgeous, and it reminded me how much I want to have a lakeshore home up somewhere along the coast of Lake, Lake Michigan, yeah, um, that that is where I would, that, that's my dream spot. And along with that, in the perfect world, 
I would have us live close to family. Not too close, because it's been a long time since we've been around family. And I miss them, and it would be great. I hear of other people and watch other people having all their family and doing everything, and it makes me jealous. So that would be great. Um, in a perfect world, I'd eat. Lunch in Italy again. I would eat lunch in Italy again. Would you bring me? Well, of course. I'm, why wouldn't I? Okay. In a perfect world, I'd eat food prepared for me by my private chef who would... What are you talking about? You get food prepared by you by a private chef half the time. Uh, Your private chef isn't good enough. I didn't mean it like that. I meant... <laughs> You know how Oprah has people who come and do it for her and her dietary whatever stuff and they do all the shopping for her and the cleaning up for her? Yeah, I don't do that part. Okay, okay. So In exchange for cleaning or washing, I mean, or And you don't do cooking. the dietary whatever, whatever. And, it doesn't and, taste as good. Okay, and to add to that, it doesn't I would taste eat, as good. it says I'd eat, I'd eat and I wouldn't gain a, a pound. And that would be great. And all the dishes would be cleaned up for me. Okay. Last question might be kind of tricky. In a perfect world, my wife or my husband? What? Still on the life. <laughs> my wife wouldn't be stressed out. In a perfect world, my husband would be able to write as much as he wanted and get published because that's something that he loves to do. I'd and would get sleep and would have more room on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> a larger bed would be great. <laughs> yes, it would. Do you have any last thoughts? Because I have a thought that I want to share about this perfect world stuff. No, I, I you just write it down. I, it's a quote. Okay. No. <laughs> no, this is mine. I figured this out on my own. I was thinking about this today. Well, John was screaming at me. And I thought of a quote from somebody who I really admire, who's a woman, who, she's a woman who I really admire, and her name is Marjorie Pay Hinckley, and she has a lot of good quotes, so um, I will put, this one's kind of a little bit long, but I really like it, and I will put it in the comments, or in the, what's that thing called, down below? That Maybe down below. Extra information? Yeah, I'll put it in that, whatever, down below. But you should also look her up because she's written books and she's really great. Her name's Marjorie Pay Hinckley. And um, she kind of sums it up really well for me about In a Perfect World. She says, I don't want to drive up to the pearly gates in a shiny sports car wearing beautifully tailored clothes, my hair perfectly coiffed with long, perfectly manicured fingernails. Which I like because I... I never look perfect, and I never have anything perfectly put together. I want to drive up in a station wagon that has mud on the wheels from taking kids to scout camp. I want to be there with a smudge of peanut butter on my shirt for making sandwiches for a sick neighbor's children. I want to be there with a little dirt under my fingers from helping to weed someone's garden. I want to be there with children's sticky kisses on my cheeks and the tears of a friend on my shoulder. I want the Lord to know I was really here and that I really lived. And I think for me that sums up, I might not look the perfect way that I want to look. I might not have the perfect ideal situation that I want. I'm gonna cry, goodness. Um, I didn't know I was gonna get emotional. I think I've decided today that despite everything and how everything's not perfect, it is perfect because it's my life. And so even though I've got gray hair and a few extra pounds and not enough money, it's okay because it's perfect because I have this guy with me and three beautiful people that I get to fight with, fight with all day. <laughs> and it's okay. That because that's what makes it perfect, is the, imper right there. the imperfection of life makes it perfect. So, anyway, I'm sorry that I cry, but I guess that's what you get, is an imperfect me tonight. And we hope that you will share with us um, what, what are we saying? You wrap this up, you wrap it up.
Just make appropriate comments below. That'd be great. <laughs> okay, have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>